परीक्षा विप्ल तो जिज्ञासा कर प्रचंड लैगिंग चलते ना कि मान डिसेम्बर शेष हलो मन फलो शुरू हो जाए प्रायत्र शेष मैंने प्रैक्टिकल ছেড়ে দিলাম এমনি অন্যান্য পেপারের ক্ষেত্রেও কিন্তু আপনার আর ইলেকট্রোডাইনামিক্সটাই ফার্স্ট স্টার্ট হয়েছিল বাদ বাকি পেপারগুলো মানে আমাদের দুরুন স্পেশাল পেপার বা ইলেকটিভ সিলেকশন হলো তারপরে তো ক্লাস স্টার্ট হবে হুম 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 ঠিক ঠিক দেখা যাক তোমরা খবর টবর নাও হ্যাঁ দিয়ে দেখো কি হচ্ছে আর সুমন 
হ্যালো সুমন হ্যাঁ বলছি যখন রেকর্ডিং করবে না জাস্ট যখন শুরু হবে তখন রেকর্ডিং করবে আমাদের যে নিজেদের যে ইনিশিয়াল জিরো আওয়ারে গপ্প বা ইনফরমেশন আদান প্রদান সেগুলো রেখো না হ্যাঁ ইউনিভার্সিটি so basically in the last class we talked about the paramagnetic susceptibility uh, and we did uh, the calculation using the canonical ensemble of course in the classical approach and uh, eventually you obtained that the uh, susceptibility of the uh, system paramagnetic system that is proportional to inversely proportional to temperature and uh, c is uh, this is the called curie's law of paramagnetism c is of curie's Uh, temp, uh, I mean, good is constant. Well, and uh, of course, I mean, we had to borrow some experimental result, and we uh, and we uh, found that uh, in in experiment, the susceptibility uh, goes uh, inversely with T, uh, and uh, it it means that the Curie's uh, law of paramagnetism does. Uh, you know kind of, kind of support the experimental observation having said that let us uh, go and uh, you know take the help of quantum mechanics let us uh, let us uh, uh, adopt uh, the system quantum mechanically uh, in the sense that we know uh, that uh, in in most of the situations uh, we have seen the discrepancy Uh, between uh, the experimental behavior and the classical behavior and also we have seen uh, that quantum mechanics does play a crucial role uh, to uh, explain or to um, uh, reproduce uh, the experimental results in that sense it is wise enough to consider the quantum system quantum mechanically the major difference here is basically Uh, major modification that uh, arises as i said earlier also that uh, the moments that makes any arbitrary angle uh, any angle uh, with the uh, applied magnetic field so in a sense if uh, it cosine theta is the angle uh, or theta is the angle between the magnetic moment and the field direction that theta uh, could be arbitrary from say 0 to pi mm, however in quantum mechanics uh, it dictates the moment not to align in any arbitrary direction it will be aligned in some particular discrete directions such that it has the projection uh, along the z axis has some integral multiple of some um, uh, quantity so uh, in a sense i would say that the moment has some definite directions discrete directions to align uh, with the magnetic field so it cannot align in any arbitrary direction so major modification uh, here arises from the fact that the magnetic moment mu and its component mu z in the, in the direction of the applied field cannot have arbitrary values that is what i mentioned also we have a, a direct re relationship between the magnetic moment mu of a given dipole and its angular momentum so angular momentum and mu they are related in many you know interviews or something like that they do ask the question about this relation also the relation between the magnetic moment and the angular momentum this is the relation and e h cut by twice mc i think this is kind of mu b the board magneton and g is the what is g uh, what is this g called landes g factor landes g factor right mm. so this is j is a total or by total angular momentum not orbital total angular momentum 
and this is like board magneton and g is the lande g factor um sometimes this g is not called that uh, gyro magnetic ratio something like that have you heard of uh, this calling gyro or gyro magnetic ratio anyway let's, okay let's move with that because g takes values for different kind of angular momentum different values for different kind of angular momentum yeah. and 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 uh, accordingly it, it 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 spits out the value of the magnetic moment anyway as i said this is the mu b and it is, is the bohr magneton so mu you can write as g uh, into mu b into j and uh, g is uh, lande g factor which is 2 for dipoles due to electronic spin and it is 1 for purely orbital motion and you uh, i think in 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 um, uh, in atomic physics uh, you uh, will derive probably the the expression for this land g factor okay so do you have atomic physics in this semester or in next semester next semester okay so in the if there is something like atomic physics and then you will uh, suddenly go through this expression you will probably derive this expression for this land g factor just to note it down that 3 by 2 plus this. Now you can check it out if S is, you know, spin, electron spin. Just check it out if S is half, then what is the value of G? It is saying G factor, which is 2 for dipoles due to electron spin. Now you see. If your if it is purely spin, then it is L is zero, right? J is also S, right? Then it should be S into S plus one, S plus one half. So three by two plus half is equals to equals to two, right? Right? J is one to the one. What I'm saying that Landry G factor G, uh, it is saying that uh, this value is 2 for dipoles due to, dipoles and magnetic dipoles, due to electron spin. If, if it is purely arising due to electron spin, then I can assume that orbital is 0, is purely spin. If it is purely spin, the momentum, that is angular momentum that is arising if it is arising purely due to spin then your total angular momentum should be spin only because orbital is zero then it is it should be s into s plus one in the in the denominator and denominator two into s into s plus one so s into s plus one s plus one cancels so half it gives you half three by two plus half is two that is what i'm saying did you get it mostly Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if it is purely orbital, then S is zero, right? So, if it is purely orbital, then your J equals to L, right? Because your orbital angular momentum is arising purely due to orbital motion. Then it should be, or your total angular momentum, if it is totally orbital angular momentum, that means this is zero, then J equals to a, a L. So minus L into L plus 1 by 2 into L into L plus 1. So it is minus half. 3 by 2 minus half is 1. But that is what I am saying here. I mean, I just explained that this is a statement that Landay G factor, which is 2 for dipoles due to electronic spin, and it is 1 for purely orbital motion. And it is clear from the expression for the Landay G factor. Right? Is that correct, Somastri? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, then the Z component uh, mu Z equals to G mu B M. What is M? M I guess is the uh, is the um, quantum number corresponding to the third component of uh, this orbital angular momentum, right? 
because generally when you operate uh, say uh, lz lz on the state l and m it gives you m the state lm right yes sir magnetic magnetic right. moment quantum number right right so 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 mu z equals to um, the z component uh, the mu z should be uh, because this is this is your mu this is the operator if this is the operator then if you operate on say uh, l m it, if it is of course if it is purely uh, purely uh, orbital angle because some notations have standard notice some notations are very standard in a sense l m l m uh, you can write j m or sometimes you write l m l j m j like that right now this m indicates it could be ml it could be ms or it could be mj depending on your angular momentum operator okay so then this is the third uh, component i mean z component of the uh, of the moment okay uh, dipole moment uh, which is uh, of course proportional to the uh, this quantum number z uh, component quantum number of uh, corresponding uh, uh, to the uh, angular moment so th this is saying where um, the magnetic quantum number m in accordance with the rule of space quantization which can take no other values except that is what i, I in the beginning i mentioned about some discrete alignment of the uh, of the of the um, moment with the magnetic field direction and that is dictated by this m value and that m cannot take any arbitrary value it will take minus j minus j plus one j minus one and j so this one i guess uh, you know i probably i needed a diagram where j is oriented and the projections are on the z axis those are depicted by m so m can take minus j if it's totally opposite direction if it, if the moment is directed opposite to the field and it should be j equals to plus if it is in the direction of the field and these are the intermediate values discrete values acha ei ei jinish ta tumra jano to magnetic field er shonge ki ki direction e thakle mane ki ki direction e thakte pare magnetic moment yes sir ekta jani इनक्रीमेंट Then those are the m al allowed m values. Okay, all right. Thus, now uh, okay. So just note that this is the mu. Okay, this is the dipole moment number one, and g has this value. Anyway, we will carry 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 along with this g notation where g is this value, which has value two when it is pure or the the moment arising due purely due to spin, and the g value is one. when it is the moment is um, coming arising out uh, purely of the uh, orbital moment okay and uh, the z component that is the component along the along the field direction that value is this and it can have so many values because m can run from minus j to plus j with an increment of 1 thus a dipole whose magnetic so this is the difference between the from the classical picture in the classical picture there was no restriction on this this discreteness right uh, it could take any value from minus j to j anywhere it could have could have been anywhere right but here it cannot be anywhere it 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 has some definite directions along which that moment has to be aligned so that is the basic difference between the classical treatment and the quantum treatment thus a dipole Whose magnetic moment mu is equals to g mu b j 
can have no other orientations with respect to the applied field except the ones with m equals to minus j minus j plus one delta j minus one j as i said earlier so this is kind of a repetition in accordance with this we can write the partition function now since we are this is the kind of application this is the magnetic system this is again application in the under the uh, canonical ensemble approach and of course we are treating the system uh, statistical statistically or st uh, uh, yes statistically and therefore uh, within within the subject of statistical mechanics i should say mm, and uh, therefore uh, if we want to calculate the uh, you know, thermodynamic quantities, definitely we look for the partition function. Now, this is the, your uh, I mean, crucial job to uh, to uh, construct the partition function for this system. Now, here we have we have taken a single particle first for a single particle or dipole. Uh, the partition function can be written as q1 beta this is the notation we have been using e to the power minus beta e right now what is your e e is minus mu dot h right that is the potential energy interaction energy right so this is minus mu dot h what is mu mu you have already i told you to note it down g mu bj so mu is g mu bj this is uh, this is uh, yeah mu g mu b what what happened what happened what happened j dot h minus mu dot h what is mu mu is this g mu b j g mu b j g mu v j dot h why from this mu is coming it has an amuta bad jay the jita take a bucket and oh the yeah right right so i think uh, wait a minute eh? this is uh, let me rub it out because somehow this is a uh, basically a kind of mistake let me rub it out this mu would not be there because because the mu itself is g mu b j and let me make this sign a little bigger So, so the potential energy minus mu dot h, so minus, and uh, as we have already seen that mu is g mu b j, g mu dot h, so, uh, and j dot h, so from that, uh, uh, it is coming as the z component, and that z component is taken into account by this number, quantum number, m, okay, so g mu b m h and that is what we have written here so this is the e basically and it is by minus beta e minus minus cancels so beta g mu b h m okay so now basically you could write it as cos theta but that has been taken into account in terms of m okay now this m can run from minus j to plus j and those are the all states possible in classical one what did you do you took cosine theta and you varied theta from 0 to pi because there was no restriction on the alignment of the dipole moment. Any angle it could take. But in this case, since they are discrete, so you have to take the sum over the value of m because m is the only possible, um, uh, possible numbers which are allowed quantum mechanically. And therefore, your partition function for a single dipole, that single dipole can, can align uh, in some particular directions, which is taken into account by this integer m, which is which runs from minus j to plus j.
with an increment of one. Okay, uh, so this is the expression for the single particle partition function. Now introduce a parameter because I, we don't want to carry over this large number. So you just introduce a parameter x. You have to also, we have to calculate this sum, right? So we, uh, we, we denote uh, this uh, as in terms of x, x equals to this, and also we assume y equals to beta g mu b h okay these are the two variables we introduce and then you see uh, what we're doing q1 equals to m equals to minus j 2 plus j e to the power can you can you do uh, by yourself uh, you know if you do yourself with pen and paper i think that would be much better if there is some mistake that would be rectified okay can you do that, please? Okay, sir. And if you want to, you, if you want me to scroll down, you just ask me to scroll down, okay? Here I have given you the, the you know, this is called uh, AP series, right? Uh, this is, this is, This is AP or GP, which is called. Okay, GP, sir. GP, GP, sir. GP, okay. So in the GP series, I have given you the the formula. Uh, A times uh, 1 minus R to the power N by 1 minus. This has to be used here, okay? So please uh, do it by yourself. You can discuss, no problem. You can discuss. You can interact with you, with each other. I scroll down into the window. Hmm.
मैगनेटिक मुमेंट एलॉंग डेक्शन mz bar this is the average now this average you know you already know how to get the average right we already have seen we have already seen the formula that 1 by beta del del h of this this is what is the mu average mm. and then you multiply with number of uh, you know dipoles and then you get the magnetic moment okay so of the system that you get and this is uh, what it is you can do the derivative for instance you can do this derivative also okay please do that and get this form or finally you see if you get this form okay so do this do the derivative इंद्रोनिल इंद्रोनिल अरे अराउंड इंद्रोनिल तुम तो आशो इंद्रोनिल सुनते इंद्रोनिल कनेक्शन बोध হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ বুঝি হয়েছে প্রথমটা সামটা হ্যাঁ 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 প্রথমটা হয়েছে ডেরিভেটিভটা করছি ডেরিভেটিভটা করো হ্যাঁ ওকে ওইটাই জিজ্ঞাসা হচ্ছে
basically your power dipole the average magnetic moment or average magnetic moment per dipole uh, along the jet direction or the jet component of momentum on the average per dipole is mu times this on this function uh, in, in case of uh, in, in the classical uh, case we had some function which we called l x similarly here we get some function in terms of or hyperbolic and so on which we denote as b x since there is a quantum angular this angular momentum is associated with this and that's why we give the suffix j and this is called Bridua function you have heard brilliant zone right in 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 in, in solid state physics and so on so that same Bourdieu function is called. So this uh, function within the uh, uh, square bracket, that function is denoted as bjx and which is named as a Bourdieu function. And then um, your um, total magnetic moment along the jet direction, the jet component of the total magnetic moment or magnetic moment along the direction of the field that is n times the average magnetic moment along the field and that is equals to n mu bjx so x is of course we have already mentioned what is x x is beta g mu b j h so your magnetic moment along the direction is this and then we have plotted this now before going to that picture I would like to ask you one thing. What do you expect when J goes infinity? What do you expect? When J is very large, what would you expect? Hmm? If your J becomes very large, what do you expect? Ekhane somewhere J infinity is infinity at a vapor way again. So infinity, I'm saying, I'm saying very large. If J is very large, then what do you expect? J could. Hmm. Yes, sir. I mean, J is so large, so what variation of the sheet table is it? Physically, what is it? Yes, sir. J is large, so what is it? One approach to the other side. I don't know. The expression is very complicated. Yes, sir. But physically, at least physically, what do you expect? দেখো তুমি যখন একটা মানে কোন একটা এ করো আর কি মানে কোন একটা প্রবলেম সলভ করো করার পরে তুমি যেটা পৌঁছো সাম ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল এক্সপ্রেশনে তুমি পৌঁছো ঠিক ঠিকই কিন্তু ইন সাম লিমিটস ইউ ফিজিক্যালি এক্সপেক্ট সামথিং রাইট এন্ড দেন ইউ ট্রাই টু চেক হোয়েদার দ্যাট দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ ফিজিক্স দ্যাট ইউ আর ইউ নো ইউ আর অ্যাপ্রিহেন্ডিং হোয়েদার দ্যাট ইজ রিফ্লেক্টেড অর নট রাইট so then you say yeah you get yes, the kind of independent of field 
কি মানে ম্যাগনেটিক স্যাচুরেশন যেটা মানে ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট অফ व्हाट डू यू से इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ व्हाट डू यू से इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ यू सेड समथिंग यू सेड सम इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड हाउ हाउ ऑन द वी because magnetic field is the only source of external force which is trying to interact with the dipoles and angular momentum is directly proportional to the is proportional to dipole moment uh, how can it be independent of magnetic field i mean at least you know independent of magnetic field it will be independent of magnetic field i mean what will be independent of magnetic field which quantity would be independent of magnetic field that's the, the, the that's the question i'm asking uh, i mean you are saying that it, it will be magnetization uh, magnetization right right magnetization yeah. that is true for anything right for any value of uh, this j yes sir in je kono value to me yes yes uh-huh. that, 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 that would be true for any value if h is large all the moments will be aligning along the field direction and that is independent of any uh, the the magnitude of the moment right ha yes, sir so you you try to think in a physical way you know i i stressed on some facts uh, again and again so you try to think that if j is very large then what is going to happen i mean just to think about it i mean what role it is going to play what picture we are going to have if j is very large pretty large sir Bala- quant- quantum mechanical result a classical result approach korbe why ke bolche eta ke bolbe sir ami orpita or pita okay um, why do you appear that sir j tends to infinity hoye gele to ota 1 by 2 j ache i you are going you are going to mathematics i am not asking you i am not in for going uh, to analyze the mathematics mathematical expression i am i just want answer from you based on physics मानी <laughs> ठीक যেটা বললো সেটা ঠিক কি ভুল ওরা কি ঠিক বলছে তোমার কি মত
আমি যেটা বলছিলাম না আমি বলছি ওর পিতা ওরা বলার পরে তোমার মনে হলো না ইউ অলরেডি হ্যাড দ্যাট লজিক ইন ইয়ার মাইন্ড এখন সেইটা কি তোমরা দেখাতে পারবে এখানে তো আমি দেখতে পাচ্ছি না কোথাও সেইভাবে
এই যে দেখো এইটাকে যদি এক্সপ্যান্ড করো যে ইজ ভেরি লার্জ এটা ঠিক আছে তুমি যা বললে না হয় রেখে দিল ঠিক আছে কিন্তু এইটাকে যদি করো যে ইজ ভেরি লার্জ দেন কট হাইপারবলিক এক্স ইজ ওয়ান বাই এক্স রাইট তাই তো ওয়ান বাই এক্স মানে হচ্ছে এটা জে বাই টুয়াইস জে বাই এক্স হয়ে যাবে আর টুয়াইস জে টুয়াইস জে কেটে যাবে এটা ওয়ান বাই এক্স এক্স এস হয়ে যাবে দেখো জাস্ট ডু ইট বাই ইউ স্যার গোবিন্দ বলে নাকি যে যেটা যখন লার্জ হয়ে যাবে তুমি এইটাকে না হয় জিরো করে দিলে এটাকেও জিরো করে দিলে এটা কট হাইপারবলিক হ্যাঁ বুঝলাম স্যার বুঝলাম হ্যাঁ এইখান থেকে এইটাকে লিমিট যে টেন্স টু ইনফিনিটি করলে ওইটা সাইন এক্স বাই এক্স এর ফর্ম থাকে হ্যাঁ আর এইটা এক্সপ্যান্ড করলে তোমার যেহেতু 1 বাই x প্রথম টার্মটা 1 বাই x সেটা 1 বাই x মানে হচ্ছে 1 বাই x বাই 2j 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 कैंसिल হয়ে যাবে 1 বাই x তার মানে ওইটা l l x ফর্মে চলে আসবে তোমার এখানটা রাইট बाकीिकलीन approach the classical value and therefore this bj because your uh, your uh, mj is mj is n mu bjx and therefore this bjx this boolean function should approach the lagrange function and and that you can explain from here that 1 by j equals to 0 1 by 2j equals to 0 because your one is there with respect to one you can neglect 1 by 2j with respect to one you can neglect one by two j but for this contribution uh, you cannot simply neglect it because it, it, this depends on this value and therefore since x by two j is pretty small you can expand it return the first term and that is one by x that means two j by x two j two j cancel it is one by x and therefore it becomes cot hyperbolic x minus one by x which is nothing but your lagrange bar function l of x okay so le let me stop here Uh, till this point i mean where uh, for j, large j uh, it approaches the value of uh, this lagrange bar function okay and in the next class maybe we'll discuss about the other limiting cases okay ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা স্যার বলছি মানে আমাদের ইন্টারনালটা একটা আমরা মানে 22 তারিখে দিতে চাইছি 22 তারিখ